YouTube, this is Michael Kazmierski Dunn here, and welcome to episode 48 of the Blind Piper React series. The first singer I'd like to react to in this series of episodes is this pop singer who is, she's an up-and-coming artist, not a lot of people know about her as, as far as I know. Her name is Lauren Alvarez. And it's a funny story how I discovered her. So around Christmas break, my sister was looking at YouTube channels that talked about really rare songs that nobody knows. Like they don't know what title it is. They don't know who does the art. They don't know the artist. They don't know anything about that song. And Lauren Alver Alvarez, sorry, I'm so so used to how my screen reader says it. It says Alvarez, but <laughs> forgive me on that. But Lauren... Uh, her dad apparently had this cassette tape with an unknown song on it, and Lauren uploaded that to her channel, and my sister found that. And so she was looking, because she found her name, she assumed, my sister assumed that she was another musician. So she looked at her channel, and she's like, Hey, Michael, you're gonna love her version of We Don't Talk About Bruno from Incanto. Because those of you who don't know, I'm a huge fan of faster vocal vibratos, which is like hot vocal vibratos, which is actually uh, good for the voice. Slow vibratos, which about 70% of most singers have, is actually not good for the voice to refresh your memory, uh, according to Joyce Di Donato, a voice scientist. So my sister's like, you're going to love her version of uh, Bruno if I'm in canto. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to react to um, the two songs, the two complete songs she has on her channel. So first will be Bruno. And next will be her song she actually released just yesterday. And after that will be, you know, something super cool I can't wait for Lauren to do. Uh, Lauren knows about this already because of our conversation exchange. So um, I actually had to tell... The thing. The good thing about Lauren is that she sees all my comments, she responds to them, so I think that's the coolest thing in the world. Like, when somebody has a really hot vibrato and sees your comments, and it's like, oh my gosh, like, it's the best thing in the world to hear from them. Tragically unlike Madeline Bailey. So um, let's just say that... You know, I give you credit, Lauren. You kind of, even though you're not exactly Madeline Bailey, you know, it's just the coolest thing in the world to hear from you. So anyway, let's start with We Don't Talk About Bruno from Encanto. I've actually seen the movie with, my sister and I have seen the movie with my mom, but the hard part is the scenes go by so fast that it's hard to describe them. And when you have two blind children watching a movie, you always have to pause it to explain the scenes. So, um... Um, if anything, Lauren's vibrato is a lot better than the original cast. The original cast has a slow vibrato, mostly. And I actually had to tell Lauren that, and she's like, Oh my gosh, that's the coolest thing in the world. So, without further ado, we don't talk about Bruno from the musical Encanto. We don't talk about Bruno That is the hottest vibrato ever, Lauren. We were getting ready and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. No clouds allowed in the sky. Walks in with Whoa. mischievous grin. Oh, there you go. Cow voice in the Sardinian throat singing tradition. I can explain about that a little later. Best vibrato ever, Lauren. Super hot. A vibrato like yours, to be honest, Lauren, is what gives me that kind of feeling that I'm afraid to describe. That amazing harmonizing, I love it. Especially when the vibratos are on both tracks. Um, but your vibrato literally gives me that feeling that I described in the Abby Bailey reaction. Um, and Lauren, I think I sent you the Abby Bailey reaction. Um, I mean, I'm trying to explain it, but then if I if I go too far honest, it's kind of hard because it does talk about something that not a lot of people are comfortable talking about. So, but yeah, oh my gosh, this is like the best cover of this song I've ever heard. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, pretty hot. I'm just trying to stop myself from saying the S word, which is similar, which is similar to hot. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, that's the best vibrato ever. You got that Nicola Hitchcock kind of volume variation in it. I love it. Oh my gosh. I wish everyone had that voice. You very much remind me of Madeline Lauren. But the thing I hate about it is that I hate being single, right? I wish there was a girl who was close to my age, had perfect pitch, but also had a vibrato exactly identical to yours. Oh my gosh! That hot feeling again. Oh my gosh. That was epic, Lauren. Epic. So before we get to the next song, um, she and I actually exchanged comments on both YouTube and Instagram. Um, Instagram because uh, you can't send you you can't send links in YouTube comments for the strangest reason in the world. So I texted her on Instagram, I'm like, hey, you know, the reason why I'm doing this is because that's the only way I can send links, and like, you know, hopefully you don't mind that. So I had to let her know I'm in, in a YouTube comment. I'm like, holy Matsilo, Lauren, you've got the hottest vibrato ever. I wish I had a girlfriend with perfect pitch that had that vibrato. And I had to explain who Matsilo was, you know, the best Italian bagpipe maker in history. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry I can't send you links, but I, if I could, I would show you who Matsilo's, who, uh, what Matsilo's instruments sound like. And so I sent those to her on Instagram. She's like, oh my gosh, I've never seen Italian bagpipes before, and my dad is a piper. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like total, like, dream come true. Like, <laughs> what in the world? Like... Holy Matsilo Canzaro. Canzaro is actually a rival pipe maker of Matsilo, Nico Matsilo. His name is Amadeo Canzaro. Amadeo is like, you know, Amadeus, awesome name. Um, he and Matsilo are actually second cousins to each other. So yeah, so, um, and then um, while the week leading up to when Lauren released her latest song, which I'll react to next, I was telling her, hey, I think you should put this Kelly Clarkson effect in your songs. And obviously, I had to explain it where you have two different voices, two different voice part, or two different parts, two different octaves doing the same melody. You can either have it where the background voices are above the louder lead voice and some backgrounds below, or you can have the lead voice in the upper octave and then all the other background voices below. And Kelly Clarkson did that effect for both, like both variations of that that, that effect. So on Instagram, I sent Lauren several examples of songs where they use that really hot Kelly Clarkson effect. And she, this was like, oh my gosh, like, even just thinking about it gives me that same feeling as hearing your vibrato, Lauren. This morning she texted me on Instagram, it's like, hey, I know what you're talking about, and I think I'm actually already planning to do that effect already. I'm like, are you serious? Holy Mozilla right out of Lucania. And Lucania in Italy is a district where the best Italian bagpipes are made, and so the best Italian bagpipe makers are from there. So. Um, I don't know which variation of the Kelly Clarkson effect her new song is going to be, but, you know, obviously she, has, she also said, like, hey, let me know if I'm getting closer to this, and let me know how I can improve on it. Um, and that song, the song has not been released yet, but she also said, um, that I'm like, she's like, I'm gonna release this new song, I can't wait for you to listen to it. And I said, well, if it's already been recorded, I doubt it's gonna have the Kelly Clarkson effect in it. She's like, yeah, I'm sorry, it's already been recorded, but the next one will for sure. I'm like, oh my gosh! So, um... This is a song called Without You, and I will warn you, she does use kind of obscure samples in the song, so it does kind of drown out the words. So that's why I asked her if she ever could possibly upload the studio acapella of it. And I love studio acapellas because if you haven't noticed the Kelly Clarkson, a possible iteration of the Kelly Clarkson effect in an original song, with a studio acapella, you, it, it's like front and center, boom, right there. If there's a Kelly Clarkson effect, it, it becomes automatically evident. So. Sadly, this one doesn't have any Kelly Clarkson effect as far as I can hear, but her vibrato is still pretty hot and s***y. So, here we go. Lauren Alvarez singing Without You. That sounds like a warpy record. Oh, 
Hot vibrato again, Lauren. Love it. Nicola Hitchcock and Madeline Bailey combined. Oh my gosh. I wish I wish all girls had that vibrato. Oh my gosh. I got that feeling again. You know how like when you look at a picture of a hot girl, she often gives that a guy mo that kind of feeling I'm trying to describe without trying to be vulgar? That's what your vibrato gives to me, Lauren. And add that Kelly Clarkson effect and you got that feeling big time. Oh my gosh. Love that, Lauren. Best vibrato ever. Where did you get it, by the way, Lauren? Oh my gosh, that's like... Can't say the word because the song is playing. Oh my gosh, there you go again. But... I wonder if you learned the trill technique, because... There it goes again. Because Joyce Dinonato, a voice scientist, says that if you don't know how to trill, you won't have a proper vibrato. And according to Joyce Dinonato, you've got a proper vibrato, Lauren. You've got a proper healthy vibrato. Kelly Clarkson effect, but your vibrato is like the hottest in the world. Turns me on big time. That's why I'm kind of jealous because not a lot of people have that hot of a vibrato as you do. So that's why I wish there was ideally a girl my age who had perfect pitch but who also had that exact kind of vibrato. I'm being honest. Because people with perfect pitch seem to be cooler than people without perfect pitch. And I love playing that game, those games, like, hey, what note is this? What's note, what note's that? What note is this? What note is that? And I sometimes ask random questions, like, hey, what key was the fire alarm? Or like, hey, what key is the, what key is this machine? Or what key is that machine? And people with perfect pitch can do that. So ideally, I wish there was a girl with perfect pitch who had that exact vibrato and that exact passion for that Kelly Clarkson effect like you do, Lauren. So this was the coolest thing in the world, Lauren. Like, you know, this is just, oh my gosh. Like, I cannot decide between you and Madeline Bailey, but because you're a lot more reachable than Madeline is, that's the only difference that I would say is a positive difference between you and Madeline Bailey. But voice-wise, you and Madeline Bailey are identical, so I really can't tell the difference, but... You know, I don't know if anyone has described to you uh, um, how much they, what they feel about your voice. Maybe a lot of people have seen you and they think you look pretty hot, as in that S word I'm afraid to say. But, you know, for a blind person, it's, it's different, you know? I can't see people. And here's the reason why I love faster vibrato. So in bagpiping, as you probably know, because your dad plays the bagpipes, Instead of, instead of air vibrato like I think you have, there's finger vibrato on the notes. And the faster finger vibrato a piper has, the more dexterous they are. So to me, the faster vocal vibrato somebody has, you know, the hotter they sound. And especially with that really epic Kelly Clarkson effect. Um, because I call it the Kelly Clarkson effect because, because Kelly Clarkson used that effect a lot in a lot of her songs. She was the first artist I've heard to use that effect. I don't know if that effect has a name, but that is just super cool, Lauren. Like, you already thought ahead of me of doing that Kelly Clarkson effect. But in your next song, you know, I'll, I'll let you know if it's, you know, cool or not, because sometimes artists just do a two-track version of the Kelly Clarkson effect, whether the lead is on the lower octave or on the upper octave. 
it's usually just one lead and one background, uh, regardless of what kind of variation the Kelly Clarkson effect is. But I've noticed that some people who do do the Kelly Clarkson effect usually have the two different octaves in the center, but also have two additional lower octaves on the left and right. So you have, in either variation, you have one high octave and three low octaves. Um, so like, ideally, a lead below Kelly Clarkson effect would be a background lower octave, on the left, a background lower octave on the right, the lead, the lower octave, the lead in the center, and then a background higher octave in the center. That's four different tracks. And then another version of the Kelly Clarkson effect, ideally, would be, you get again, you have the two lower octaves on the left and right, and then you have another background, lower octave background in the center, and then the lead on top, the higher octave, also in the center. So. Um, the next time you plan to do that Kelly Clarkson effect in your next song, Lauren, that might be something to shoot for as well, to take it to the next level. Because I don't know, I, obviously I don't know what the Kelly Clarkson effect in your next song is going to be, like the one you're going to release in February, but it'll probably be just like a two, like a two, two track one, like one low, one high, which is good, which is good, which is good, you know, it would be a good start, but, you know, I, I kind of like the stereo effect, and also, I don't know what it is, but I kind of like how if you have more than one track of the same note, which have a vibrato, I like how the, the vibratos kind of just shift out of sync just on their own and it just sounds hotter. Like, I can't describe it. Like, it, it just makes like kind of a stereo, swirly stereo effect as all three vibratos on the left, middle, and right just, you know, interact with each other. Um, I don't know what it is that makes the Kelly Clarkson effect hotter to me, but I don't know. I really don't know. It's just, I just love it, you know? <laughs> so, so yeah, that was my reaction to um, Lauren Alvarez's uh, first two songs. And um, whenever Lauren comes out with a new song, I'm definitely going to react to that one. Um, but um, I think that'll be it for now. And since I have a lot more singers to react to, I think I'm just going to do each one just once a day rather than more than once a day because I kind of feel a little bit tired. And, you know, when you're tired, you know, you don't want to put all your time into something. Plus, I don't even know if my recorder's batteries are running out yet. So so that was Lauren Alvarez doing the both uh, We Don't Talk About Bruno from Encanto and Without You, her new single. So... Good luck with that new song with the Kelly Clarkson effect, Lauren, and hope you've enjoyed my reaction. I'm so sorry that if I was vulgar enough, you know, I, I'd i rather be honest rather than just hide everything, right? But at the same time, you know, I'm, I felt like I was pretty good at watching myself because I didn't want to say the actual you-know-what word because some people think, like, that is the weirdest thing in the world. But, you know, everyone has a different preference when it comes to, like, you know, most people it's about looks, right? But for me, it's about vibrato. So, so yeah, that was Lauren Alvarez, and if you guys have haven't done so yet feel free to hit like and subscribe and join <clears throat> and join me next for episode 49 of the blind piper react series so that'll be it for now and have a good day Ciao. wait 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 adios <laughs> i do know a bit of espanol lauren so anyway that'll be it all right have a good day everybody